What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game, back with Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for Nintendo Wii. Uh, Nintendo Wii. Sorry, I was about to say Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm so used to saying Nintendo Switch. Uh, let's, quick uh, apologies for the last video. I just realized I was using the wrong microphone. I just saw the playback for the last video, so yeah. And uh, de I'm deeply sorry for I used the wrong microphone. I used the webcam microphone instead of the actual microphone that's right in front of me that keeps... Blocking me from using motion controls. <laughs> okay, so let's see. First part. Now fly through here. Hit this thing. I don't know why the spider's there. Spider doesn't need to be there. No, 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 There we go. Ugh, I hate spiders. <laughs> or skull tools, as they're called the same. Alright, so we're done with that. You're there now. So we got the key to the next area. That's what we needed from that uh, previous area we're going through now. Yeah, I save it every bird statue just in case. <laughs> when you live in Florida as long as I have, I've developed a nasty habit. Uh, we have a lot of thunderstorms here in Florida. So I've, I've developed the habit of saving everything often, whether it be a, a game or a program on the computer, a Word document I'm working on, I always save. Power goes out a lot because of all the thunderstorms, so... And it doesn't, like, stay... It doesn't, like, go out and stay out. It just, like, surges, and... It, that's all it takes to shut down a computer sometimes, so... <laughs> okay, the next part, I believe, is over here. I think we gotta use the beetle. Yeah. Oh no, we just need that, it's just a ruby. Okay. Okay, here's something fun you can do. I'll cut those down, I'll cut these two down. Yeah, Cause you gotta walk over this rope. I'm surprised that, the that these uh, fly traps or whatever they're called, or babas, that's what they're, they're uh, Deku babas. I'm surprised they don't eat the thing. <laughs> oh, right, gotta bounce, gotta bounce. Uh, right. Okay, alright, we're good. I like having fun with it. Wow! <laughs> See me on the camera bouncing with Link, that'd be great. Oh, we gotta fight. All right, this thing. You gotta be careful now. Oh. Yeah, this thing will mess you up. Yeah, you gotta strike all three heads, because if, if you miss one, it regenerates. There's, is there anything else? In, is there anything I can get in this room? I can get, I can get a heart. Let's grab that heart, just in case. Circle around. Oh, that's right. If you fly into the into the little beacon, you basically it'll basically come right back to you. Don't know why they do that. And he brings me a heart. Nice little bug. All right. Go through here next.
Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, he fell. <laughs> Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, there we go. So this basically leads back to the big room I was at before. It's kind of just a weird way to get around it. I think, I think sometimes I think the, the dungeon developers have a little too much free time on their hands. <laughs> okay, first things first, let's try and knock down some of these vines. Actually, you know what? I need to knock them down, but I need to know which way I'm going. That's open now. I think this thing is scared of him. This thing scares him away. Yeah. <laughs> ah! What is this thing? <laughs> Basically, we need to get to that where the we need to get over here. You need to swing on these vines to get to the treasure chest over here. Try to go, this guy's gonna, yeah, he's gonna try to do his thing. So, see, so now I gotta do my thing, and unfortunately, yeah. Dude, why do you make me do this? <laughs> it's guilty pleasure, but it's fun. Alright. So now I gotta do the bounce thing. Whoa! 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 Okay. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could actually do that in real life. <laughs> One of the things in video games which I can't do in real life. Video game logic, like things like double jumping. You can't double jump in real life, I don't know if you know that. <laughs> yeah, you need ground under you to jump. Where is this leading to? Oh, it's leading me here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. So we come down here. Alright, we gotta get on those vines, so get a ring start. Oh! There's again something else I would not be able to do. <laughs> Grabbing a vine like that. Let's make sure we're far enough. Oh! Look at that. <laughs> What's in here? The you got the golden carving. This strangely shaped gold sculpture is covered in mysterious patterns. It's actually the boss key, but they do they do like a little mini game out of it, which is actually kind of cool. A little annoying, but cool. All 
Alright, so we're through that. Let's, let's take a look at the map real quick. I think that's everything. There's another treasure chest right over there. Ooh, look, there's Zelda. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, if you just wiggle the controller left and right, you actually stay centered pretty well. It's kind of my way of fooling the motion controls. And what have we got in here? Alright, free money. Alright, let's save real quick because we got a boss battle coming up next. Spoiler. <laughs> What's behind the big... What's behind the the big door it has a big freaking keyhole. Okay, so this part basically you grab it and you spin the Wii remote. And you gotta line it up so that it's lines up with the door too. Almost there we go. Alright, and that opens the door. It's a little fun game. I mean, you know, they have the ability to do it. Why not try it? See what works. I like that. That's one thing I like about Nintendo. They're not afraid to try new things. That's how they become innovators. That's how you become innovative. By trying new things. Oh. Lots of light. Oh, boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look who it is. Whoa! Bloodshot eyes. <laughs> I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed a tor and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. <sighs> not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the, the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond the- Oh, I, I got a not too deep a voice. Yes, he, yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over the land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You may call me... Girahim. Gira who? In truth, I be, I very much prefer to be indulged with the, my full title, Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> so I'm kind of crossed whether this guy... At this point, I was kind of crossed whether or not this guy was evil or good. <sighs> then, yeah, Demon Lord, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Did you really just draw your sword, foolish boy? By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when the loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? <laughs> Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Whoa! Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all of my anger out on you. Which is which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No. I'll just beat you within an inch of your life! <laughs> Creep. <laughs> okay. You don't get out much. <laughs> work on your social skills. Oh boy. Okay, so this pri this fight is actually can be pretty hard. This guy kind of watches fingers. Oh. For the first part, try not to try to dodge his fingers. Oh. Duck, 
Dang it. Hmm. Quite the sword. Oh god, he has the sword. Okay. Takes the sword, you gotta, you gotta shield block it out of him. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Dang it. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of dang it's tonight. Alright. Now comes the real battle. Oh, dang. Okay. There go. See, so yeah, when he sort when Be careful, be wary of how he holds his sword, too. Dang it. Okay. When he rushes at you, you gotta kinda swipe at him a lot. Oh, and yeah, try not to try to be careful of where he holds his sword. Like I should have done a vertical strike right there. There we go. Dang it, okay. I'm trying to figure out where my potion is. I have a potion, I know that. Apparently I don't have a potion. I thought I did. There we go. Okay, didn't need the potion. I mean, I know I have one, I just don't know what I did with it. <laughs> well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. The sword of yours is the only reason you're still li you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get to my way again, though, and you're dead! <laughs> so flamboyant for an evil villain. <laughs> Hard to take him seriously sometimes. Alright, we got the heart container, guys. Not bad for our first boss. All right, so hold on. Your hearts of yeah, I know that. Thanks, misinformation. Seriously, where was that? It's weird. I had, I know I had a potion. I just don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Jeez, thanks. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap things up for tonight's video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, and stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword videos. Till next time, guys, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night.